What's going on everyone? Welcome back for another episode of Jersey Takes. I know I said that we were gonna do some permission detecting, but guess what? We're at the beach featuring Pull Tab Thomas. Ooh. It's his last day in the world before he disappears on me again for about a month, so he wanted to come to the beach and it's a great day for it. We have turbulent tides. Tides going out, so low tides coming up. We have nobody here. It's cold as anything. First dig, coming your way. All right, pardon the wind, but first signal of the morning. Sounds like it's gonna be a nice quarter tone. I'm starting to realize that not everybody has a detector and or my detector. So basically detectors provide you with a number, as you see on my screen, the 48, 50. And they usually, you can kind of make a prediction sometimes based upon what that number is. Like this 50 is bound to be a quarter, maybe a piece of silver, but should be a quarter. Yep, so I have one George. I'm rich, but the beaches have changed since the last time I was here, earlier in the week. By the way, guys, look at pull tab. His shaft is stuck, so that's how he has to detect. <laughs> oh, I love the guy. Yeah, we tried fixing it, and we ended up breaking it even more, but um, the conditions have changed. So last time I was in all this, this wet sand, the surf, that lady out in the sand in the surf is going to drown out there. It is no condition to be swimming, but if you come up, the waves throughout the week they washed all the way to the back to the dunes so chances are this dry sand area will now be productive but we're going to start here kind of bounce between both the tide's going out it's going to go out in two hours so the name of the game is probably detect the dryish slash wet sand and then probably down where that lady's drowning next dig so pull tab gave me the shout seems like he's the first one on the board with what he said is the smallest piece of silver he's ever found. Anyone that have found. Oh, he's found a little earring back. I'm afraid to even show you too much, but that does say Starling on there. All right, pull tab is on the board. Hopefully there's better things to come. I you don't... figure a little find for a little detector, right? Yep. Awesome, dude. Um, so yeah, we're still working the wet. I have a signal over here. I don't think it's much. It's very irony. If it's anything good, I'll show you, but I'm struggling to get it out. So next dig. Figure I'll show you because I like to show some of it all. Tent snake. Medium rare. Waves. Next dig. So something I'd like to note for newer detectors, we'll say, is listen for those iron patches. So around here, I have iron. I have an 8, a 10. But hiding in the mix is a nice 47, 48. And basically the waves, they make, they make like similarly weighted and shaped items travel together so when you start hearing iron chances are there's something like that hiding in the mix 48 there she is and again really old coins guys definitely a chance of something fun coming out quarter next dig all right so i have a ferris tone here well, not exactly. Like, it's reading a 5 to a 7, but it doesn't sound like iron, and I think that's just depth related. 8, 9. So, yeah, you, you want to dig the low tones because that's where gold hides. This is a little too low for the reality of it being anything. Like, at best, maybe a tiny piece of gold. But you got to dig them. Still down there, ringing its head. And I want to pinpoint it, but these waves are intense right now. Now it's reading all iron as a seven. I can only guess it's a tenth state. Yep. The bane of my existence today. Next dig. All right, I see my find. 47, 48. It is another uh, Better Days George. Um, we're going to start migrating to the dry sand. I was pretty much under the impression that the wet sand is going to be sanded in. So what I mean by sanded in is basically it's pushing in sand and it's pulling enough sand off of the slope and just filling in this spot. So now there's probably like another foot on top of the sand from my last week's video. Damn, these waves are rough. 
So um, I think our time is going to be better spent. We spent about an hour or so in the wet for a few quarters, a few pull tabs, and a bunch of tent stakes. Dry sand it is. Next dig. Sounds like I have my first dime tone of the day. 45, 46. So yeah, that's what a dime would ring up for those who do not know the legend. Might be a penny, like an older penny. Yep, it's an older penny. So I still need a dime for the cycle. We have a 1977. So yeah, these ring up differently than your, your post-1982 pennies because these are straight copper, where after 1982, they're a, a mix of, of, of metals. So note for people. Abraham still need a dime and a nickel for the cycle. Next dig. On it with a 45. Hopefully that's my dime for the day. Still no nickels. This is a, a Nicholas Beach. And I'm not saying the name Nicholas. Like nickel less. Solid 45. But yeah, it's slow, everybody. So you're seeing the coins. You're seeing the garbage as I get it. And you're seeing coins as soon as I can get them out of this scoop. Ah, there's my dime. Nickel away. Next. All right, I have a big 20s tone. It's a 27, but it it doesn't exactly sound like a pull tab. But at the end of the day, folks, it's probably a pull tab. But it definitely sounds a little hardier than a pull tab would be. But you'll never guess it. It's just more of my nemesis. Pull tab. Next dig. All right, so this one's not even a dig, folks. Can you see that on the floor? I don't think you can see it on the floor. But I have a necklace. And it looks okay. Just gave pull tab the wave. I'm gonna say this is something. But, alas, alas, I said alas, alas, we don't have the clasp. But that looks okay. No markings whatsoever, probably would have been on the other side. You want to check that out, bud? Yeah. Looks okay. Uh, you sure there's no markings? Or? That was just sitting right on the surface, man. Really? That makes chain number, I think, seven for the year. I'm going to do a one-year video soon of uh, how much money I made detecting in a year, and uh, the results will surprise you. But, yeah, there, there usually would be another yeah. little class piece. I would take a look in the area. Yeah, I'm going to see time. if I can find it. It's going to ring up like nothing. It's going to ring up like a 10, so I'll try to find it. But that is one pretty-looking necklace. I see no corrosion on it whatsoever. Well, we can only hope that this is something good, but you've been on long enough. We have some hopefully silver and or gold. Next dig. So update on the chain. It's on the floor. It's it's right there. Look at my detector screen. It's not even unresponsive. I would never dig that tone. I don't know, folks. I'm going to hope that's some beach gold. Usually a chain will ring up. I wonder if I like pile it. Will I get it then? Let me like put it in a real good like pile. Absolutely nothing. That's crazy. Well, I look forward to going home and testing this bad boy. Next dig. All right, everyone. So I think in total, Poltab and I have about 10 or 12 targets on the day. And this was not even detected. But hold on. Let me get my glove off here for this. I found the marking. And I'm going to hope to show you guys. Right inside the clasp there, you can see 10K. And this is my first beach gold, and summer just ended. What a process it has been, and it wasn't even a detecting beach gold. I just saw it on the floor. The wind probably just whisked it away, but oh boy, that's my first gold necklace. Mission accomplished, everyone. It took the entire summer, the whole entire summer of metal detecting, digging out trash and trash and pull tabs, for me to just walk across this sitting on the floor. 10 karat gold, everyone. I can't wait to go home and weigh it, see how much money I made today. We got a little while left in this journey. I'm hoping some more stuff comes out. So we're basically working from 
the top of the slope back to where the waves came and the necklace was right between here so we're going to consider this the hot spot next dig all right and we're back to your regularly scheduled programming I have a 36, 37 with some ferris blips, but what a find, guys. My first gold at the beach for the year, and I just saw it, just sitting there. Talk about some luck. This is a 33, pretty deep. No, it sounds like a bottle cap. Where are you? Yep, there we go. Mike's. Hard lemonade, boozing at the beach. Next thing. All right, everybody, it is time for what is debatably the last signal of the day. It is a perfect 48, and this is right where I found that silver ring in my last video. Now, if this is a silver ring as well, this little spot right here is, uh, well, I see something shiny. If this is another silver ring, I'll be uh, pretty happy. And you're not going to guess it, folks. It's yet again another silver ring. I called that to you, right? Yeah, you did. Oh, my gosh. Tell the story about that lady. So the, a lady just came up to me, and she's like, have you found anything? And I'm like, this spot in particular is, uh, you know, really good for rings. Wow, this thing is hefty. That's got to be silver, right? The way it was ringing up. The way it was like... ringing up, it's got to be, folks. Yeah, there we go. I have... A marking. Let's see if I can get a zoom on it for you folks. It might be upside down, but I believe I see 925 in there. Maybe it's the other way. I don't know. I don't know if I'm giving you folks a good zoom. I think my camera's a little dirty here. But, uh, guys, literally the same exact spot. Another silver ring. I feel like someone's playing a joke on me today. I'll have you look at that pull tab. But yeah, she was telling me that in the last four days she's been at the beach in this spot four other detectorists have stopped in this spot and dug stuff out and i'm like yeah i'm like this area is usually pretty good for silver rings and this one sounds like a silver ring i wish she stuck around huh. that might say nine five zero i it honestly kind of i see the five zero it looks like the number before five is born a one five zero i'll have to look that up but that is a hefty sucker of a ring guys we could only hope that I have silver and gold today. Um, again, debatably the last find, but now that I just dug a silver ring out, I feel like my motivation is reignited to keep detecting. Silver and gold, first time ever happening on the beach all summer. Well, it's technically fall now. It's the first day of fall. So silver and gold on the first day of fall, folks. We're gonna do another block just because I'm feeling froggy. Next dig. All right, everyone, we did the extra block for nothing. I have a 27 here, banking a pull tab. Couldn't expect the fortunes to keep going. What is that? What is this down here? Do I have a phone? Nope, that's a, a star. Funny. Twenty-seven to a thirty. But yeah, what a day. Ah, so they buried a pull tab underneath my star. I think you're definitely going to see a wrap up, but let's get pull tab here. It's pull tab's final day with me detecting for another month. Pull tab, what do you have to say to your fans? Uh, there's going to be gold this hole. So pull tab just dug that hole and he's definitely not going to fill it in. Oh, he's getting down in it. Anything? All right, if there were a signal, I would have ended it on you because just because you're in like a three foot deep hole. But yeah, folks, pretty good hunt. Pull tab, you know, has a little speck of silver, a little less luck than me, but uh, silver gold on the day. Wrap up coming your way. All right, everyone, welcome to the wrap up. If you folks made it this far, thank you for watching. If you could, please throw a thumbs up on the video. It certainly helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and getting my page out to more people. Let's get right into it. Not a lot of finds on the board. We spent about three hours metal detecting. These are strictly my finds. Pull tabs finds were very similar, minus the few pieces of jewelry. There was not much out there today, but what was out there, it uh, it, it shocked me to say the least. So let's get right into it. I have a bunch of tent stakes. Um, well, not a bunch. I have I had three in total. I lost one on the way. So three tent stakes, 
two bottle caps, five pull tabs, 85. We have 87 cents in change, which is probably the least amount of change I have found all summer at the beach. And all hope was lost really until I got to the cream of the crop here toward the end of the video. So I found this nice gold chain right uh, just sitting on the surface of the sand, folks. And uh, my detector would have never picked this up if I didn't see it. Um, beautiful piece. It's 10 karat gold. Let's get a weight on here. We have three grams perfect of gold. Um, I bet you this would have been a little more. It looks really small. Like if I... Uh, if I do one of these, it's almost like bracelet size for a really obese person. So I bet you there was probably more chain hiding out there from where it snapped, but we have three grams of gold. That equates to about $105, give or take, of value. And last but not least is this guy, folks. What a shock. So I can't even show you the marking. It's almost impossible to see, but it says 950. All my testing points to me that this is going to be a platinum ring, which it is a day of first for Chris here at the Jersey Shore. I have a gold chain, which has been on my bucket list for two years now. I have not found one, and I found platinum on top of it. I'm, like I said, I'm like 99% sure that this is platinum. I'm going to bring it to a jeweler uh, later in the week, but it is really heavy. It gives me all the signs that it is platinum, along with the marking of 950 and it's a it's a honker, guys. This thing's heavy. You ready for this? We have 9.64. I had 9.65 when I did the calculation for this, which if it's platinum, that should equate to about $288 in value. So super successful day at the beach. Pull tab's gone for another month, so you won't see him for a bit. Hoping to get on some permissions for the next videos. Talk about a hunt, though. We went out there. Things looked really good. The beach was sanded in. And when we went just up past the tide line a little bit where the waves were washing some sand away, all this nice stuff came out of the sand. I wish we had more time today, but this is what it is. Not a bad day. Really great hunt. Um, shocked to find platinum. I never, I never even considered finding platinum, folks. So I never knew what it was until I found it. But again, all the signs point that this is a nice platinum ring. Great day. Outside of that, folks, I thank you all for watching. See you on the next dig.